I'm in Saud, and I saw Up. It is directed by Pete Docter, and it's starring Ed Asner, Christopher Plummet, Plummer. You also got Jordan Nagai and Bob Peterson. Up is a very, very influential to my childhood. By the way, I should mention that this is a paid request along with the other Pixar movies that I'm doing this week. Stay tuned for those. So yeah, this is a very influential movie because I saw this when I was eight and this was even before I was adopted. So it was like, it was, it was a nice little movie. I saw it in theaters and I liked all the colorful balloons. That's what I liked most about Up when I first originally saw it. But upon rewatching it, I, I like, there's a lot more that I missed than uh, just watching it for the first time, and I'm gonna get into those in just a little minute. But yeah, Up starts, uh, it's a, it starts with a very sad sequence. We follow this guy named Carl. Carl is one of my favorite main characters in a Pixar movie. Uh, yo, he, he's a big old fan of Charles Muntz. What's super fun about it is that he's, uh, He's deemed kind of insane slash crazy slash a menace. Showing off this uh, skeleton, like, oh, I found this really exotic bird ex skeleton. And no one believed him at the time. And what's crazy is that he, Char uh, Carl is like, awesome. I want to go to this specific place in Paradise Falls. Specific place that Charles Muntz, like, is on this map who's talking about it and it's like oh cool we get to see the where it starts the entire premise of the movie starts here at the beginning when he's like a youngin he's such a youngin and he meets this really adorable uh cute chick that i thought was a guy at first because of the haircut i was like oh wait that's a woman uh, that's a lady okay that makes sense uh but she's cute she's really adorable she's also a big fan so yeah they're in this abandoned house and it's all cute and stuff because it shows, the sequence shows them growing up and them getting married. It's nice, cute, right? And then they buy the house in which they were having a good old grand old time when they were children. They paint it. I like the colors that they paint it. The mailbox especially is cute. I like, ah oh, yeah, I love the mailbox. The handprints. It's just, it's just it's so adorable. And then uh, we get to see, uh, what their, what their life situation's been like. They want to go to Paradise Falls. He promises to go to Paradise Falls uh, for her. And they're, they're saving up, but they keep after going to the savings and use it, which is very sad. But, you know, it's, it's just something that they have to do. Then, eventually, Whenever uh, Carl is like, hey, we can actually go to Paradise Falls now. Uh, the lady, she's sick and then she dies. It's, it's, it's really sad. It really made me cry. Like, wow. This is such a tearjerker moment. And there's like no, there's no uh, speech. There's no speech. There's a lot of music going on. There's no speech or subtitles or anything like that. And you can just know exactly what's going on. Uh, it's pristine. But then after that, we get to see uh, the present day. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of skyscrapers around, and then there's this like one block block of plot of land with a house on it. And boom, it right in the middle of the city. You got a bunch of construction workers trying to kick them out. Hey, uh, dun dun dun, uh, you're gonna have to leave. He's like, no, stay off my lawn. Get out of my lawn. Just leave me alone. I'm an old man. A bonk. He he hits the guy with his uh, his his cane stick, which I love. I love cane sticks. Uh, they're they're really adorable for whatever reason to me. But yeah, he the the guy's bleeding, and then the city is like, "Hey, you're a menace. You have to go to an elderly home." And of course, he's like, "No way, Jose. I'm not allowing that at all. I gotta fulfill my promise of going to Paradise Island." and to go there. And so, what does he do? He does a very good thing. He has a million D balloons. Uh, probably a, literally a million D balloons, just hoisting his house away. 
Bye bye, it floats. It's a house that's floating on a power of will by these balloons. And he gets to steer him too. There's a cool little steering column with ropes. Some sort of like dials or whatever. I didn't quite understand what the, the steering mechanism was. It's like, oh well, how you how do you steer? But oh guess who's there? Who's also there? There's a little guy. He's a little he's just a little guy. And the little guy's name is Russell. And he's a little fat, chubby kid. He's cute. He's a boy scout. Or a cub scout. Eagle scout. That's what it is in this world. Eagle scout. And she's trying to get a badge. He has so many badges, except for one, which is helping the elderly. And he's like, hey, I want I want to help. Come on, let me help. And of course, uh, Carl, who is one of my favorite elderly people now. Uh, he's like, no, go away, please, go. Uh, turn, tunes his earring, uh, hearing aid down, and then boom, there's a storm. And you get to see uh, Russell's like, hey, hey, trying to get his attention. I don't, I don't think there's supposed to be lightning in this clouds. And the Carlos is kind of just like sitting there, just uh, just uh, you know, vibing, <laughs> just trying to adjust these balloons, and then budge a storm. You get struck down. Some of the balloons get yoinked, zapped, begone. Adios, uh, bye bye, balloons. But then they somehow manage to get on the ground safely. And they're right across from Paradise Falls. And I'm like, wow, they're like, uh, is that like 50 miles? Is that 10 miles? Is that hundreds of miles? It's, it's, a, it's a decent trek. It's not really something that I understand, but it's, it takes up the rest of the movie. He's stuck, he's stuck in like South America with a with the little boy, and the little boy is like has no survival training instincts at all. And Carl has to deal with the kid. And guess what? There's another bird, a bird named Kevin, that is named by Russell, which is cute. I love the colors on Kevin. Oh man, what a mighty f colorful bird! Um, uh, I love it. Uh, the, ar arguably the best character in the movie is uh, Doug. He comes. He's like, hi, I'm Doug. I get distracted easily. Uh, please give me some Adderall, says Doug. That's that's the entire dialogue in the movie, guys. Also, another entire dialogue in the movie. Uh, Doug says it himself, you better like and subscribe this video right now. Do it, do it now. Also give me some squirrel. Exactly, exact quote from the movie. Anyway, so uh, Doug's like, oh, uh, you're, m you're my master. Well, yeah, he is like I'm his master. But he does have like a talking collar. Seems like he's like some sort of runaway renegade. Aha, uh -huh. he's a runaway dog. So now they're trekking through the forest by town. I mean, jungle, leaves, and they're just trying to get to the other side. There's a, there's a dog, really high pitched dog voice. It's really cute. Um. Alpha, I think is the name. High pitched dog voice. Head, the head honcho dog. He's like, uh, he's like, oh, it's it's Doug. And ooh, there's there's a colorful bird. That's what we're looking for. And boom, guess what happens when you find a colorful bird? Uh, th th they chase you. They try to chase you, chase him. Yeah, Doug is quite a. Uh, He's quite overpowered by these dogs, even though Doug is like such a loyal one. He's such a good boy. I love Doug so much. But uh, yeah, they they then they encounter Charles Bunsen self. Hey, it's my childhood hero. Wow, I can't believe it. He's actually alive. He didn't die at all. But well, there's a twist, right? They're having dinner with him. Uh, it seems like they're having cold hot dogs and. Other things, uh, they could have something else. I don't know, it just seems like plain, simple food for someone who has been living in the jungle for a lot of years, trying to also sustain a lot of dogs, too. Wow. And they're trying to talk to him. Of course, uh, it's discovered that Charles Muntz has killed people. If they're like, oh, we haven't seen the dog, the bird, or 
and he's uh, kills him if he thinks they're lying. Like, show me the bird! He's like, oh, I haven't seen the bird. Arr, arr, bird. Good chow. Good chop. Good, well, goodbye. So, <clears> the <throat> he figures out so he's not like, he's not, probably not a role model, even though he's his, he's been his role model his, his entire life. It just goes to show, what, how old is Charles Muntz? Is if, uh, what is he, 80, 90, 90 years old? And, uh, that would be like Carl, 60, 70 maybe? I don't know. I don't know their exact ages, but like, wow. Charles is old, he's going insane. He's got dogs chasing after Russell and Carl. He's a little crazy one, right? And he's just like, I'm scared. I would be scared of him too. And uh, this is also at the point when they don't have any food. So Carl's like, oh, we're not gonna eat from this food. And Russell's like, but I'm starving. Come on, man. Come on. It's like, nope, you're going, we're going. We keep trying to run. It gets to the point where um, he's not run. He's trying to run. What is happening? What is, what is, what is, like, what is going on? Now my house is on fire? Wow. He has to choose, oh, yeah, he has to choose between, like, the bird and, uh, the bird and the house because he does eventually uncover, like, oh, here's Kevin. Here's Kevin. I just want to have my house because that's where all my possessions and Ellie is. But, like, his house is, like, half burnt. I'm like, oh, no, not the house. The house is, um... What is going on with the house? No! A lot going on. So, you know, Carl is sad. But, like, he goes through a nice little flip book with uh, his, his uh, wife's s s pictures. And it's really cute. It's also showing him, too. I'm like, oh, I love it. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely adorable. Uh, whatever shall be awesome. This is awesome. I love it. And then, he's also thinking, oh yeah, this is awesome, I love it. So he starts throwing things out of the, the house. Get them out, get them out, they're too heavy, too much. Bam, we don't have enough balloons. Bam, 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 bam. Nope, no way, Jose. So now he's, uh, now he's gonna, uh, help take the house. He's gonna help walk the house with, uh, Russell. And Russell is like, Hey, uh, hey, uh, uh, we gotta get the bird because my bird's my friend. He's like, I, I agree. Let's, uh, let's go home. Let's take you home, kids. So they go back to the blimp. There's like a whole scene where, uh, they're in the blimp and they, the blimp takes off and there's just like a whole lot of, a uh, whole lot of, uh, fighting. Exceptional fighters for people in their elderly age. My goodness. And also just like dismantling the doggos. It's like, wow, Carl, you're on the outside of a blimp while it's moving? Wow, that is crazy, crazy stuff. Wow. Oh, uh, wow. Wow. Wee. Wow. And also the house is there too for uh, collateral damage collateral damage i mean the house is fine in the end but first let me tell you about what happens to charles charles is gone mad he's a bad one and so he's he gets tripped up on some uh balloons because he also got some uh, balloons tied to him not enough balloons to sustain charles though charles goes down and he does a classic fall to his death so we don't get to see the gruesome bloody parts at the bottom so that's good they they then go to the house oh well by the house i mean the house is left at the perfect spot in paradise falls while they go home and you take russell home man what an adventure what an awesome adventure i starved to death i helped an elderly man i met so many new creatures I met so many talking dogs, and there is so many talking dogs. Also, although the talking dogs are great, now we're getting, we're giving uh, Russell a nice little thing called a badge. We put the badge on, on his sash, and boom, easy peasy. But 
Carl, he's like, oh, I got a better badge. He gives the badge that he gave, uh, that he was given to by his wife, puts it on Carl. And I gotta say, very adorable. And, you know, the story kind of ends out just like, just like that. It's nice, peaceful, and very adorable. Wow. Up is so adorable. It's just, the dogs are adorable. The premise uh, is quite scary, actually, but still, it's very adorable. All the characters are adorable. Uh, opening sequence is very adorable. Uh, I love the colors. Wow, the colors were great. And also, the, the animation is very fluid. It ages very well. Uh, from 2009 to 2022, and yes, I am dating this video. It's very good. The animation holds up. I, I, I very much enjoy uh, the voice acting. The, the squirrel. There was a squirrel over there. <laughs> but yeah, uh... Doug is very quotable. Um, I want Doug as a dog, uh, or, or, or some like dog that I own in the future. Have one of those dog talking collars. That'd be so cute. Wouldn't that just be the best? Oh man, I love it. So yeah, I gotta give this movie a solid nine out of ten. If you like that content, I have more content on our patreoncom presents For three dollars a month, you get some daily vlogs and some extended mint salad sauce. Also, for twenty dollars a month, you get to request one movie review per one month. So go check out patreoncom presents Until next time on mint salad sauce, I'll see you later, my salad croutons and bacon bits. <laughs>